two and a half weeks after investigators allegedly caught one of their own deputies buying drugs. There is still no word on whether Chris Parsons will face any charges at all. News 5's Emily DeVoe is keeping a close eye on the story and brings us up to date on the investigation. News 5 broke the news last Monday night after learning from a credible source that a deputy was caught buying drugs. That encounter allegedly happened the week before. The following day, Tuesday the 14th, Lloyd Miles, a spokesperson for the department, went on record confirming the investigation and plans to discuss whether the deputy would lose his job. First, investigators needed to look deeper to determine if any other deputies were involved. The next day, they publicly confirmed him as Chris Parsons, the son of high-ranking supervisor Lonnie Parsons, and terminated him effective immediately, but he wasn't arrested. That decision has to come from the district attorney's office, who waited nearly a week for the sheriff's department to send over the results from their internal investigation. Deborah Tillman, the chief assistant for the district attorney, told us Thursday that they have the bulk of the information they need, but not everything. She said that wasn't uncommon. So here we are Friday afternoon, still waiting to see what will happen to Chris Parsons in terms of criminal justice. Given his now former career, this is an issue many of you have expressed concerns about, worried that it might get swept under the rug. But we've been in constant communication with the DA's office since the story broke, and we'll continue to follow it to its conclusion. In Mobile, Emily DeVoe, News 5.